Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I wanna to talk to you about bevel gears and our acetal bearings. So bevel gears, they're part of our motion category in the Tetrix ecosystem. They're solid aluminum, as you can see, and they're used like any other gear as far as power transmission, but they're specialty gear in the fact that they're specifically designed to change the axis of rotation 90 degrees at least. So a common example of how that would work is something like we've got right here. I've got, this is probably the simplest application where I have potentially power input on this side in this axis of rotation and through my bevel gears connection, I'm actually changing that 90 degrees. That's one of the simplest applications of that. A real world example, another example would be something like I've got right here. This is an example of uh, a good example of a differential like you'd see in the differential of just about any car out there. Through a series of bevel gears, I'm allowing for multiple axes of rotation in that specific uh, application. Uh, something that's a little bit uh, maybe not as typical, but again, a good use case for bevel gears is something like we've got right here. Um, this is a good example of because of my design restraints, my space requirements, I've actually changed my orientation of my motors, and but with my bevel gears, I'm maintaining my actual output shaft rotation in the proper uh, way. So again, I'm taking advantage of my uh, bevel gear to uh, allow for extra space and design considerations. This would be something useful like in maneuverability if I need to make my chassis a little bit narrow, I can go ahead and change my motor orientation and use my bevel gears and achieve that result. So that would be maybe something that's not as typical. Um, things to remember when you're using bevel gears, just like any other gear application, you want to make sure that you've got alignment uh, maintained. If I have these where they're not properly meshed, they can skip, pop, and your gears will wear out sooner than what you need to or potentially your drive transmission could fail. So again, those are things to keep an eye out for. Extra resources. Remember guys, you can always go to pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, you'll find things like spec sheets, CAD files, everything you need to know specifically about those particular pro products are at the bottom of the product page. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, and come back and see us.